So for day 25, the prompt is lever, or lever, whichever how you want to pronounce it. Now when it comes to this one, the thing that comes to mind for me is the idea of switching between different styles of play. Like going, going from a more narrative style of play to a more tactical style of play, which I do think can be done. It's just that the amount of games that actually do it are fairly rare. Some games will describe this as different modes, which I think is one way to uh, look at it. But it's important to make sure that there's some variety in how the game is presented to the players. Otherwise, they might see it as a bit samey. Um, this is why I've... I don't, I'm not going to say that I've gone past dungeon crawls, but I try and integrate them into other pillars of play so that the dungeon crawl doesn't feel like the be-all, end-all of what you're doing. The same thing goes for a more narrative experience. The fact is you need to have um, variety within it. But also you need to make sure, in my opinion, that the switch between these modes is not a jarring experience. It's one that sort of builds itself in between. And this is why the downtime between large events is important, in my opinion. I mean, putting aside the narrative parts of it, there's also the mechanics part of it. There's the possibility of adding new side quests that tie into the next scene. And other um, potential avenues that can be explored. Overall, Mood Whiplash is as much of a thing in role-playing games as it can be in um, more passive mediums.